Well, tonight the FBI has arrested a Huntington Beach man. Agents say the man stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. The bureau says he was part of the most violent parts of that riot, and they have video and photos to prove it. There's more tonight with KK Nine's Nicole Comstock. Newly released body camera video shows just what officers were up against during the Capitol insurrection. A crowd of violent rioters shoved officers who were guarding the West Tunnel that leads to the presidential inauguration platform. And now, 10 months later, yet another arrest in the federal investigation. The FBI says this is 50 year old Kim Sorgenti of Huntington Beach in the red MAGA hat and reflective sunglasses. They say he helped other rioters fight officers in the tunnels for two hours. He was arrested Monday and charged with obstruction of law enforcement during a civil disorder, knowingly entering a restricted building without legal authority, and disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building. A big range of offenders. Here, this guy looks like he's on the upper middle range. Brian Levin is the director of CSUSB's Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism. He says even though Sorgenti faces 15 years in prison for those charges, the federal court has been relatively lenient on other Capitol rioters unless they were connected to a direct physical attack. One of the things we know is that crowds can offer anonymity or at least the feeling of it. Investigators say that was also Sorgenti hitting a man over the head with a bullhorn at a Stop the Steal rally in Santa Ana back in December of 2020, less than a month before the Capitol insurrection. He was charged with assault with a deadly weapon in the Santa Ana case, but was released on $100,000 bond. We've seen this fertilized. By social media and paid outfits like Stop the Steal, which was started by political operatives, but then took in a lot of guppies on that uh, on that uh, sunken reef. And Sorgenti was also released after this recent arrest. He's been ordered to appear in federal court on November 4th. I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.